Hello and welcome to a new topic theory of behaviorism or behaviorist theory introduction in this lesson we will talk about background of behaviorist theory in which i will take up the topic introduction that is to say background of this theory then i will talk about who coined term behaviorism then i will discuss who are the principal originators of behaviorist theory how did behaviorist theory come into birth come into existence come into light dominance of behaviorist theory and we will talk about challenge to behaviorist theory so let's move and discuss about the very first that is to say introduction behaviorist theory is also known as empiricism it is also known as behaviorism by another name we can also say behavioral theory and sometimes we also call it a stimulus response theory but then what is empiricism empiricism refers to a method of a study relying on empirical evidence which includes things you have experienced a stuff you can see and touch it rejects the innate knowledge now we continue our discussion and let's talk about who coined term behaviorism the behaviorist theory was first introduced in 1913 by the american psychologist john b watson in fact watson is credited with coining the term behaviorism and we have some more information about watson and you know watson view was largely influenced by the research of the russian physiologist ivan p pavlov during the early 90s we continue who are the principal originators of behaviorist theory the most influential version of this theory is put forward by b f skinner in 1959 so basically b f skinner is associated with behaviorist theory in the field of language learning but b f skinner just not one day got up and came up with this idea there is someone who also influenced in the way b f skinner thought about behaviorist theory and that man is what we call notably John B Watson 1878 1958 and B F Skinner 1904 and 1990 are believed to be the two principal originators of behaviorist approaches to learning so J B Watson has a lot of contribution to this theory and B F Skinner carried forward his way of philosophy we continue our discussion how did behaviorist theory come into birth come into existence behaviorist theory began as a reaction against the introspective psychology of the late 19th and early 20th century and what is introspective psychology refers to a psychological process that involves looking inward to examine one's own thoughts emotions judgments and perceptions it also refers to the informal process of exploring one's own mental and emotional states so behaviorist theory is a reaction against the introspective psychology we continue dominance of behaviorist theory behaviorist theory dominated the study of learning throughout the first half of the 20th century it was most popular in the first half of the 20th century then we have challenge to behaviorist theory and what is that challenge the ascendancy that is to say the success of behaviorist theory was blurred by the emergence of the innate theory or nativist theory in the mid 20th century however still today much language learning program formally stands on the foundation laid by the behaviorist theory still it's quite popular and people acknowledge the basic principles basic tenets of behaviorist theory in the field of language learning we cannot ignore despite the fact that it has met a stiff challenge uh, from the innate or nativist theory in my next video lesson i will talk about principles of behaviorist theory tenets of behaviorist theory what are the qualities or characteristics of behaviorist theory that's all we have hope you understand the concept thank you and goodbye